Hey, what's up guys? Nick White here. I do tech and coding stuff on Twitch and YouTube. Uh, first problem of the day, so we're warming up with an easy one. Uh, check the description for all my information. I do Patreon, pre I do premium lead code on Patreon, and I have a Discord. Um, remove element is what we're doing today, and it is very easy, and people dislike it, and I guess it makes sense. It's kind of a weird, uh, kind of a dumb question, I would think, but... I mean, I guess it's it's something to think about. I mean, eh, it's kind of lame. But uh, given an array of nums and a value val, remove all instances of that value in place and return the new length of the array. Okay. So given an array of numbers, we're given a value. We want to remove every in uh, every position in the array that is equal to val. So we want to... Um, delete these and we have to do it in place so we can't you know make a new array and just put these two twos in it and say like that's all good there's no threes anymore we have to go through and we have to somehow delete or something these are these to uh in place to you know accomplish what we want to do um do not allocate extra space for another array you must do this by modifying the input array the order of the elements can be changed okay so that's good uh, it doesn't matter what you leave behind beyond the new length. Okay. Uh, your function must return a length of two with the first elements being two. Okay, so what they want us to do, this is why it kind of stinks. Maybe the problem description is a little bit bad, is um, they want us to change these elements, basically, so that the first two elements are two as if we deleted them. So we want to make, if we see a three, we just want to make this a two. And if we see this three we want to make this well it do, we just have to have the first two elements are two and then we return a, a length we need the the elements up to the length we're returning to be valid and not have the value in them at all that's why it's weird it's kind of just a weird problem um you know for example in this case they want to they have a value of two that they want to remove right so we don't want a value of two so if we want, if we were to delete all these values of two, we would delete one, two, three. So the new array would be of size, you know, it would be of size zero, one, three, zero, four. That's what they want. But we can't, there's no way for us to just delete the twos. Um, I mean, we could fill them with nulls, but the problem is we, when we return the length, so we're going to return a length of one, two, three, four, five. So we're going to say there's five elements without the twos, right? That's what we're returning as this integer. That's what they want. But this method doesn't just look at the integer and say you're right. It also looks at the array. And they don't really explain that, but it's going to check our array and make sure that whatever length we're returning, that the first length, five elements, if we return five, it's going to check the first five elements and make sure there's no twos in it. So we have to essentially take these twos and we have to either put them at the back of the array I mean, pretty much we have to put them at the back of the array or we have to modify them and change them to maybe ones or something like that. As long as there's no twos in the first whatever uh, length we're returning elements, then we're good. So how do we do this? Um, it's pretty easy. All we have to do is, um, I mean, first we might want to just do a little check. We'll say, okay, is nums.length equal to zero? Then we'll just return zero. That's fine. There's nothing going on here. Okay, besides that. Um, what are we going to do? We'll say, how about we do this? Int j is equal to zero. Then we'll loop through uh, i less than nums.land. So we're just looping through the array, right? Linear loop. Okay. Here's the condition we're going to do. If nums of i is not equal to val. So we're going to say, if the current element is not what we want to remove, well, that's good. So what we're going to do is we're going to say, let's make nums of i, since we can, since we know for a fact that this element is good, we're just going to move this to the front of the array. So we'll say nums of the front of the array, this is a reference to the front of the array, is equal to the current element because we know that it's good. And then i++, plus plus, I mean j++, plus plus, because j is the size we're going to be returning. You could call this size... Um, valid size, valid size, valid element size, or whatever you want. And we will just increment it so that we put the valid elements to the front and 
you know, that whatever length and whenever we know that it's not this value, we increment it. So by the end of the array, we'll only have the size of the elements that aren't equal to the value. So we'll have the size of a valid array and all of the first valid, el first um, n elements where n is the si valid size uh, are going to be a valid. So when it checks it, it's all good. So we just return valid size. That's it. That's the whole problem. Uh, pretty confusing description, I would say. Literally, I cannot solve a problem without making a typo. Like, what is wrong with me? This couldn't be easier to solve. Okay, 100%. You know, that's pretty much it. It's a pretty easy solution. Let me just uh, show you why we had to do this. Uh, put it Like, you might think, oh, they just want the length. So, you know, you don't even need to do that. So, this is all elements length uh, without zeros. Let's see what happens. It's going to fail because... Look, three, two, they check against the input array, see? They check. They expect you to have the correct array as well. So you have to actually modify the values and make sure that valid values are within the size of the array you return. All right, that's it. That was a warm-up. We're going to go on to some harder problems now. Thank you guys for watching, um, and uh, I love you all with the bottom of my heart. So, all right, see you guys. Uh, that's weird.